In the world of testing, there are many things that cannot easily be taught. There is no way to explain something and, and transfer what you know to someone else. It is tacit knowledge. As an example, uh, a lot of testers would say that you need to vary the way you do your test. You need to do things in different ways, and by doing that you will get a lot of better test coverage over time. But how do you do it? When do you do it? Which kind of variations are important? That's very difficult. And I think the, the key is to, to test a lot together with other people, to get experiences, to see many different things, and you, then you will get the, the knack of it. So let's assume an example. Let's say that Spotify has told us that uh, they want us to find important bugs in the PC client. So what I see as the core thing with Spotify is to play music. So if we could find issues where the music isn't played, that would be significant. So the first thing that comes to my mind is the shoe test. You put a shoe on your keyboard, you go to lunch, and when you come back you see how your web page behaves after F55 being pressed for an hour. The thing with Spotify would be the space key, because space is used to, to play and to pause. So space, play, and pause. So if I hold down the space key, I notice that it is interpreted as one space click, which is very good. They handle it in a good way. It isn't disturbed by holding it down for a long time. I could try to let it be hold for an hour. That would be a too long and boring video. Instead, I do my variation for this thing, which is to, to press space many times, multiple times. Like this, right? Super fast, like I'm playing a game. And when I do this, I see something interesting, and you do it as well. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see that uh, the song is actually playing right now, but there is no sound. And if I look into this, I will notice that too fast space produces a state where the music is running, but there is no sound. In post mode, three fast makes the same thing. And if I check with the mouse, it's the same thing there. So there is some glitch, some state handling between the client and, and the backend or whatever it is. I don't really know. But what I know is that if a song is playing, there should always be sound. Unless uh, the, it is mute, of course. So this is a significant bug that I think should be fixed. And that's uh, all for now. Thanks.